And then Mike Wayne proceeds to tweet the same day on day one after people spent $100 and said, I'm sorry, we're taking the move out. What's up, 2K? Community, it's your boy, Invading. We are back again with another video, man. It is exactly 7.36 a.m. in the morning, which is why I am standing, because I'm trying to make sure I got this blood flowing and your boy waking up. I ain't as young as I used to be, you know what I'm saying? So we, we getting into this thing, bro. Let me know if y'all like this, though, because I don't really do standing videos. This might be a different thing for you guys, but I got a desk that goes up and down and whatnot. So maybe if you guys like it, let me know in the comment section. Uh, as always, leave a like, leave a sub, leave a comment. But we got two videos that's coming out today. We got the builder video uh, that should be released from creators around 10 a.m. or so. So probably like two hours or so. Um, so that'll be good. And then we got um, another video, which is this one that we're doing now. So this video is a clip of iPod King Carter. If you guys don't know who iPod is, he was been, or has been around the 2K um, community for a very long time, especially during the Chris Move era where Chris Move was on top for my career videos and things of that nature. Um, yeah, he uh, made a clip. There's a clip going around him, uh, basically raging at Mike Wang in the 2K community um, for taking out the LeBron uh, hot back before the game um, has even come out. Um, I'm going to let you guys form your opinion on it. Then I'm going to let you guys know uh, how I feel about it and whatnot and what the real problem that iPod was trying to convey is versus what people are seeing. All right. So let's get into this video. And then Mike Wayne proceeds to tweet the same day on day one after people spent a hundred dollars and said, I'm sorry, we're taking the move out. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? What's 127,000 times a hundred? Huh? You mean to tell me you niggas make a build and then it's cool for them to just pull moves out the game and then you sit up there and be mad that they took your move out? Like, we keep, we, like, yo, the circle that we keep going in with this shit is crazy. It's probably 17, maybe the 30 YouTubers that just glorified that certain moves are returning and, and all of this in these 2K videos, these gameplay breakdowns. They weren't even fucking notified. Are you, are you listening to me? That these moves were coming out the game. All right, so we've now made it back and you guys got to see what iPod was talking about. Little clip of minute and 30 seconds, all right? Let's just get right into it because y'all already know I don't like to waste time or do anything along the lines of that. Um, the LeBron hotback absolutely needed to be out the game. It was a crutch that casual players used a lot to be able to score, uh, a lot to be able to uh, try to get their three off, um, a lot to just basically create space at any point in time whenever they wanted to create space at any point in time. And it was unrealistic to say the degree or to say to say the least, it was unrealistic. So it's a good thing that it's been gone because it's been there for the five years and literally people would get online just to find if it's there. And if it was there, they're leaving it in the group. I have friends that used it. I've never used it before because what the freak, why? But I've never used it before. Um, and unfortunately, a lot of y'all now about to lose that too, but it needed to happen. But iPod's problem with the game is that it's not that he's re they're removing LeBron hotback. That needed to be gone. The problem with the game is that at any point in time, 2K reserves the right to remove whatever they want to remove or nerf or buff whatever they want to buff, right? And unfortunately, because of that, as a consumer of 2K, when you spend your $100 on the game, your build at any point in time could become obsolete. For those of you who don't know what obsolete means, it just means useless, bro. Um, literally, your build can just become useless at any point in time based on a patch. If you make a slashing build, right, and you're just yamming on people, yamming, yamming, and the community finds out for, I don't know, for some reason that dunks are just broken. It is broken. What 2K is then going to do is they're going to nerf meter dunks or they're going to nerf that dunking build and usually 2k doesn't do a good job of balancing stuff they nerf it to the ground so that would mean that hundred dollars that you just spent on being a specialized dunker is now useless if you make a three-point shooting build that's a 99 overall three and they say uh dang this dude is shooting from half court and greening everything with legend limitless range it's broken how can we stop this if the overall majority of the community says this ain't right. 
this is unfair why are we doing this they're gonna nerf it now the build that you just spent a hundred dollars on you can't shoot from legend limitless for anything how do we know this because this has been a a recurring thing that happens in 2k right one of his things that he said in there was joe knows and everybody else went to community day and they literally all made videos saying yo the lebron hop back is back now to joe knows his um credit he literally came out and said yo this is a build that we're playing at community day and this may not be how the game is going to be when the game releases so good job on joe knows by saying that but literally as those videos came out mike wing then comes out and says the lebron hop back is not going to be here and we've changed some other stuff as well which makes some of their stuff that they said in a video, not all of it, but some of the stuff that they said in a video, um, unfortunately, just not true, which they could have told the creators there, but not going to have a LeBron hop back in there. They definitely could have said that they chose not to say that. And it seems like I'm of a knee jerk reaction, unfortunately, because everybody was like, dang, the LeBron hop back is back. Mike Wayne was like, nah, gotcha. It's not back. Now, I don't know if that's necessarily what happened, but you see the point that iPod is making is that, and I've made this point before too, you're at the mercy of 2k when it comes to this stuff because they generally react to what's happening in the community and what people are saying if there's a majority of people saying this is broken or this is not right or this is wrong eventually they're going to make that change uh, which is why you hear everybody always say it's only going to take two weeks before they change the game and then patch one's going to come out and then next thing you know well the game's going to be broken again or the game's going to be a totally different game than what we played from day one and generally that's unfortunately how it works man so let me know what you guys think in the video. Do y'all think it is a overarching issue? Do you guys think that 2K isn't right about doing this? I personally feel like there needs to be some guideline because I cannot think of any game that generally can take things out and make something just obsolete. And then the money that you spent on that thing is now useless. I, 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 I thought about Call of Duty. Call of Duty, even if you have a meta gun, then a different gun just becomes meta and you generally already have that you just have to grind that gun to get to certain items or whatnot or certain attachments that will allow for you to be good with that gun um but never that you have to spend a hundred dollars again to go forward around um uh, on call of duty to be able to compete with the best of the best players or just compete in general um so yeah man i i that's always been an issue for a while i think ipod is right in in that case um but the LeBron hotback absolutely needed to be gone. Like I said earlier, this is going to be the first video of two today. So y'all sound off in the comments about iPod. Let me know if y'all think he's right. Sound off in the comments about 2K. Um, I'm going to see y'all in the next video, man. And let's get it bopping, bro. We got a lot of stuff to do today, bro. Let me know what y'all think about me standing too. All right, we out. Peace.